Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. I do the premium lead code problems on my Patreon if you want to check that out. And uh, if you want to reach out to me, Discord's a good place to do that. I try to get back to everyone. This problem is called remove linked list elements. Uh, a lot of likes. I'll give it a like. Uh, remove all elements from a linked list of integers that have a value val. So they give us a linked list and they give us a val. Well, they give us the head of a linked list, and then they give us an integer val. And we want to go through the linked list, and anywhere we see that value, we want to remove that node. So in this case, the value is 6, so we would give we would be given 1, the head of the linked list, and we would traverse it, and we'd say, okay, is the next node 6? Okay, well, let's, let's get rid of that. Let's skip over it, and uh, we get rid of all the 6s. So you can see... The output is the same as the original linked list minus the sixes. So if you didn't know how to get rid of or delete a linked list node, what you do is you traverse. And um, if you find the value as the next node, so in this case, if we're at two and we see a six, we just set the this node, so two, we set two dot next equal to two dot next dot next. Because 2.next.next is equal to whatever 6.next is, 3. 3. So we just want to set the dot .next equal to the dot .next.next, .next, if that makes sense. 2.next equals 2.next.next. .next. So 2.next was set to 6, but now it's going to be set to 3. Um, and that's kind of how you do it. But here's the only problem with this problem is... Um, how do we handle what if the head node is the value? What if it was what if the value is 1 in this case and we get 1 passed in? It's kind of difficult to, you know, set we can't just set uh we can't get rid of the reference and skip over the node because it's not the next node. So here's the trick. While head is um not equal to null and head dot val is equal to the val so if we get passed in a node with the head node is the value we want to remove we just say okay head equals head dot next so while the head node is the value we just change the head node essentially we change it to the next node so we just basically by changing the head to the head dot next node it's like we just get rid of it from the linked list and that's exactly what we want to do so we do this until we have a head node that isn't that has a value that is not equal to the one that we want to remove and once we have a head node that is normal we can just set a current node equal to the head we can do a loop and we'll say while current node is not equal to null just a regular traversal but also within this condition we're going to say while current node dot next is not equal to null and this is because for removals, you want to check that if the next node is the value you want to delete. We'll say, okay, if current node dot next dot val is equal to val that we want to remove. So if the next, we're traversing, and if the next node is the one we want to remove, we'll just set the current nodes dot next, like I explained at the beginning, to current node dot next dot next. And it basically just skips over that node. If it's not if it's not something we want to remove, then we'll only we'll just keep continuing with our regular traversal. Current node equals current node dot next. So it just traverses to the end, removes all the nodes we want to delete, and then we'll return the head at the end. A lot of people use a dummy head approach because you could get passed in a head node with, that has a value you want to delete. But as long as you have this condition up here where you just change the head node, change it to the next node. You don't need a dummy head. You can do it as simply as this. I think this is a lot more readable, a lot neater and easier to uh, deal with, less variables and everything. So linear scan through, easy problem, not too difficult. Let me know if you have questions, really beginner level question here. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate everyone that watches my videos and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. See ya. See ya.